Hello and welcome to another episode of Train Sim World 2. I'm Joe and today you'll find us back with the Southeastern High Speed driving this Class 395 Javelin service through to Faversham, I believe. I think it's all the way through to Ramsgate, is it? But obviously this uh, this route doesn't go that far. Right, let's, uh, let's get this show on the road, get everything uh, set up. Yep, doors open, get them open. And, uh, oh, hang on, where's the, where's the old headlights which uh, get you on? Splendid. Yes, today we are going to also be looking, whilst also looking at this route, we're using a free patch which I believe I've installed correctly. It's the Southeastern High Speed Enhancement Pack, open brackets, revised, close brackets. Uh, so this is a pack full of big and small patches and enhancements for the Southeastern High Speed. Lots to discover and enjoy. Uh, let's have a quick look outside the train and just see if the patch is working. Uh, keep going, keep going. There should be some some nice. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe it isn't. A, ah, there we go. Ah, southeastern. It's actually got the branding. So now you've got realistic station branding. Uh, or so it says. Oh, hang on. We need to uh, we need to press that and get it to get it to work, don't we? Press that a few times. Yeah. So realistic station branding, realistic and branded station posters and advertisements, branded station equipment and clutter. Stratford International now features much more realistic looking concrete walls. We'll see that when we get there. Various tweaks and fixes to the 395 cab and interior visuals. Uh, let's have a look. I, I can't remember what it was like before, to be honest with you, but uh, I'm, I'm sure it's enhanced. Absolutely sure it is. Right, let's uh, let's lock the doors. Uh, weathered and branded JNA wagons, new station announcements, which is always nice. You know I'm uh, a sucker for a good announcement. Oh, why is it not working? Come on. You've, you've done everything right. We're on the overheads. Yes. Go. No. Oh, there's probably something glaringly obvious that I've missed here. Is the pantograph up? Yes, the pantograph is up. So why are we not going? Go. Hmm. Bizarre. That is most unfortunate. I, I don't understand why we're not moving. I've, I've done everything correctly, haven't I? Ah, there we go. Press it again. I obviously didn't press that button enough times. Right, we're on the move, albeit a little bit late. Uh, so yeah, there's some brand new freight wagons. They've got new visuals. Uh, headlight textures tweaked and improved on the 395, 375 and the EWS Class 66, the East Coastway version. New signal textures for incandescent signals. Fixed LED signal materials with weird metal-like material and lens, which it previously suffered from. Uh, yeah, new signal gantry texture and signal textures and plus, or plus others. Uh, now, a lot of this stuff, I've not really driven this route enough to notice a lot of the changes. I don't dispute for one second that they are there. But I'm not driving this route thinking, oh my god, the improvements are just amazing. And that doesn't mean to say they're not there. Like I said, I'm honestly struggling to remember what it was like before, to be honest with you. Because I've only really driven this route when recording YouTube videos. I think I've only done two videos on this, maybe three? I think three videos, yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's still a fantastic route. You can see that the interior is is kind of a bit more almost realistic looking than it was before. And to be fair, actually, now that I come to look and I look a bit closer, the signals do look better. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I already thought it was a brilliant route, to be honest with you. It had its little flaws. There's, uh, you know, there's no dispute in that. Over the King's Cross line. 
yeah, it definitely had its flaws, but uh, it's still a good route. Still a good route. I, I do like this route. I, I would stick by what I said before. It's one of the best uh, British routes that is currently available for trains in World 2. Certainly out of all of them, the best value for money. Uh, what with, you know, your, your long distance high speed, you've got the in-cab signal in which obviously they've replicated in this. Your AC to DC manoeuvre at, uh, at Ebbsfleet. And of course it's made even better now by the fact there's a free patch. Uh, I have put the link in the description to that. Go and check it out. Uh, there's a nice readme which is so easy to follow. It's unreal. Uh, it's just like drag and drop a file and then it works. So uh, yeah, it's good. Really, really good. Do recommend it. I wonder what that noise was for a second then. I forgot that I'd... Uh, unisolated the DSD and the AWS. Nope, we're up to 225 now. We can't be that long until we start slowing down for for Stratford International. There we go, 200. Let's get some braking in. Now I'm always quite sharp on the brakes because I have a habit of setting off the uh, the emergency brakes because I don't brake quick enough. And uh, I'm sure that there's a very a straightforward procedure to resetting it on this, but uh, I, I always tend to find resetting the, the emergency brakes is an absolute nightmare to do. You've got this alarm that's just going off and off and off and off. You're like, oh, just stop whinging at me. I'm just trying to reset the alarm. And of course, we're in kilometres an hour, which just blows my mind. I'm slowly getting used to kilometres an hour, ever so slightly, since like the likes of Transport Fever, and of course this has come out, you know, there's, and Euro Truck Simulator 2 as well, that, that tends to bounce between kilometres an hour and miles an hour, so I am ever so slightly getting used to it. Right, so here we go, Stratford International. So there's some new concrete walls here that look a lot more realistic, apparently. It's a nice concrete wall, I'm not going to lie. I'm not really much of a lover of this station. I just think it just completely lacks character. Um, not to say that... I mean, I'm, I'm sure in Trent in World 2 it's been replicated brilliantly, but I mean, in real life I just think it's so... bland. You know, it's, it's just not a, a brilliant-looking station, is it, really? So there we go, if we, uh, if we have a look around, there's some, uh, oop, we, we appear to be on the roof, I want to be under the roof, Stratford International there, some, uh, what, what's this, oh, a Network Rail branded poster, what are you, lol, no, we mean leaves on the line, it's no joke, haha, <laughs> southeastern, I like that, what's this, oh, this is a Samaritans poster there, They're telling you not to fling yourself in front of the next train, you, you often see those. It's very sad that they actually need to be on stations. Very sad indeed. What what are you? You're a, you're a lol. And, uh, oh, you're another. Oh, I, th I think we might have exhausted the posters now. Let's have a look all around here. Yeah, it's definitely a lot better than it was. I mean, like I said, I wasn't really playing it thinking, oh my god, it needs to be better. 
I was just quite pleasantly surprised and grateful for what it was like. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot better. You can see the improvements massively. Get it in full power. We want to go fast, don't we? I don't reckon we're on time. After I was fannying around at uh, at St Pancras trying to get the thing to move, I don't reckon we're on time, you know. I think we're maybe a couple of minutes late. Which is not the end of the world. It doesn't matter if you're late, does it, really? Up, up to 225. There's kind of not much to see, is there? You know, when you're in the tunnel, I know that's a really daft thing to say, but I kind of would love to be able to talk to you about, oh, look, there's that over there, and there's, you know, there's something over there that's that's nice, and yeah, it's a bit dark and tunnely. I like the bit between when you come out of the tunnels, you know, when you go past um, the, the big bridge, what's it called, Dartford Crossing, that, that's a nice bit. Admittedly, I quite like... I mean, what was it that I said on the last video? It's a bit bereft of life. You don't kind of feel like you're working a busy line, do you? Nearly missed it. Should have my finger on the on the old cue on the reset, shouldn't I? Really. Twelve miles to Ebsfleet. That'll just fly by in a flash, won't it? There you go. You see, finger on the queue. Nice, quick, vigilance reset there. Oh, we're nearly at maximum pelt as well, aren't we? Two hundred and twenty-five. And we're going uphill, so I imagine we're going to make a, uh, an appearance out of the tunnel anytime soon. Here we go. Flying out of the tunnel, no messing around. We're actually in full power and slowing down because of the 2.2% hill. See, I like this bit when you see another train coming the other way and it kind of flies past you really quick. You're like, wow! I'd be a little bit happier if we could just regain those five kilometres an hour that we lost. No, we don't want to drop it down too far. Yeah, you see, I, just, I think there should be a bit more round here. It's a bit plain and boring, isn't it? A bit bare. That's, uh, oh, and I, I did actually find out that's the C2C line down there. 
It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I'm assuming that this big kind of thing is up at the side to stop noise. It's a shame because your railway passengers don't get a lovely view, do they? You know, when you're, when you're in the train, you want to be kind of looking out over, you know, seeing the world go by. Maybe it's just me that wants that, but, you know, I want a view on a train. I want to be able to see where I'm going. Ooh, we're crossing over the C2C here, aren't we? Yeah, it's over the top. Again, that horrid, horrid looking sound barrier to the side there. We're just going a little bit over 225 out. We will just ease off. Let's let it roll back down. I don't know at what point you get an emergency alarm like slamming the brakes on. But uh, but it's not happening to us today. Four miles through to Ebbsfleet International now. We'll see that speed start to come down ever so slightly. See the uh, the beginnings of the Dartford crossing just there, panning across to our right. Ah, very nice. And I'd assume that that was the C2C going underneath again. Oh, flashing! That means something's going to change. I reckon it'll be 200. Then what, 160? Is that what it came down to last time? I'm surprised it's coming down so soon, to be honest with you. We've still got a mile to go. I guess that's the, the beauty of in cab signalling, it just brings you down gradually, doesn't it? Except with this, I'm not frightened of getting the emergency brake that I'd uh, slam on. Oh, 130. Oh, what's this? Trains in World 2, unstoppable. Well, I, I do like to think of myself as being unstoppable. Ah, we'll just pop it in uh, the brake 3, or notch 3. Just let it, let it come to a nice, chilled out kind of a stop. That'll be 100, won't it? Oh no, 130. So I imagine that this is where we come off from, from the Eurostar, you know, that, that kind of carries on to other such exotic lands. And, uh, and we turn off to Faversham here. Give it a bit of power to get it up the hill. Oh, I'm, I'm coming in quite quick. In fact, you, yeah, you, you're coming in very quick there. Oh, please stop. Of course it's going to stop. Of course it is. It's just an efficient stop. Ooh, stop. Yep, you, you never... Oh, bollocks, I put it into emergency. Um, right. The doors are fine. They're absolutely not past the end of the platform there. Christ, what do I do now? Um, is, there, is there an alarm? Oh, for Christ's sake. Right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll do you while you're there. Oh, there we go. Is that it? Yeah, that, that's not great, is it? 
Oh, another unit. Where, uh, yeah. It's not brilliant at all, is it, in terms of stopping. If I'd have just put it in a little bit more braking, a little bit quicker. Oh, well, hindsight's a wonderful thing. Nobody saw anything. Now, I reckon, because that's lit up, and the, the circuit breaker MCB thing's not lit up, we, we should have done that correctly. Because I always forget to put it in neutral. Go on, work. Show everybody you've done it right. Yes, it's moving. So we're now on DC, of course. We've, uh, we've left our overhead wires. And we are now on the third rail for the remainder of the journey. So this is where it's kind of, you know, when it's a southeastern high speed, it's, it's kind of lying now. I mean, we're in miles an hour as well, if you look. We've, we've just automatically changed to miles an hour. Uh, this is what I refer to as the plodding bit of the route, where you go from travelling at 140 miles an hour to 60. And uh, occasionally you get to get above that. And of course we're on conventional signalling now with AWS. Ooh, we can even go a little bit faster. I mean, maybe it even feels slower off the mark as well. I, I'm absolutely sure that when you're on AC, it accelerates quicker than what it does when you are not, when you're on DC. I'm pretty sure of that. I've got no evidence to back that up. Maybe it is just kind of in my own head, because miles an hour, a mile is obviously further than a kilometre. So when you're in miles an hour, the, the speedo increases slower. You see what I mean there? So maybe it's just all psychological. I might have started breaking a little bit early then, but never mind. Better to be safe. down to 30. There's a D on top of the signal, a, a theatre box. I don't know what it means. I mean, does that mean that we're, we're not coming off onto the 20 and we're on the... I'm, I'm assuming D is for down, because we're obviously travelling out of London, so you are on the down. Of course, a, a wonderful reminder that London is the centre of the universe. Yet to hear any of these announcements, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to. See, that was a better stop. I'm, I'm much better in miles an hour. Come on, let's hear one of these announcements. Are we, are we a 12 car? I thought we were only a 6 car. Oh, as if. See, I don't, I don't like the fact the tail lights are on. Dovetail games need to fix that. You, you managed it in Trends in 2020. Well, it was 2015 at the time, wasn't it, when this route came out? You managed it then, so fix it now. I'm sure it's only a simple bit of code to stop that from happening. Hmm. Come on, let's have an announcement. Are we, uh... Oh, we're actually on time. Oh, that's nice. Yep, the Metro brand in there. Oh, that'd be very nice indeed. Oh, hang on, we can... Ooh. Hang on. Just realised. 
We can replace the newspapers. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, it's a bit further than you thought it was going to be. Get out of my way! Ugh! Oh, schools are... Oh, the metro's actually branded as well with COVID. The coronavirus crisis. Ah! Don't get distracted, you've got a train to run. I, I feel like I've kind of done my good deed, because every train driver carries around a stack of metro papers just in case that, the, the, you know, it needs refilling. That's, yeah, that's just standard practice for drivers. Go, go, go. Yeah, see, again, when I come back to it needs more life, I, I feel like there'd be kind of something here in this gap. Uh, even some weeds, you know, something just to make it a little bit less plain. It's a bit clean, isn't it? Some rubbish. There, of course there'd be used condoms and magazines and crisps and all sorts. Well, no crisps, but the wrappers of crisps. Whoa, hang on, you're, you're too busy ranting. You're, you're speeding there. Slow down. There we go. Yeah, the the B kind of some remnants of something, wouldn't there? See, that's better. Bit of, uh, you know, a bit of giant ogweed, a bit of Japanese knotweed. We love all that sort of stuff on the railway, don't we? The next stop in around six miles is Strood. Strood's where we go across the bridge, isn't it? I quite like stopping at Strood. Although, yeah, you can definitely see what I mean when I say that this is the plodding section of the route. You kind of feel very much like a second-class citizen once you've gone from, you know flying along next to the Eurostar and so now just plodding through Kent. even get 70 miles an hour though. That's exciting, isn't it? See, so even said, you know, I'd probably prefer this bit of route, the plodding. I feel it's more conventional, you know, UK. 70 miles an hour, just, just plodding. Nice scenery. I mean, it's all a bit flat down here, isn't it? And is that the coast or is that the edge of the world? Um, not sure. It looks like a piece of land that's floating. Yeah, that that's not brilliant. You kind of think that you... you when looking around wouldn't be able to see that as obviously as you can. Oh well. Even if they kind of put some foliage up to kind of mask that, you'd, you'd kind of hope that they would have done. Oh, what's this coming the other way? A nice 375. Hello to you. And uh, I'm, I'm looking out for the freight wagons now, these these branded wagons. There's a there's an EWS 66 there. Ah, wagons, right, okay. Let's have a look. What are they branded with? They are now branded with MRL, Mendip Rail. You know, kind of very nice indeed. Oh, well, there we go. So this is Mendip Rail as well. Well, that's nice. You know, that's, that's a little bit better now they've got some branding on. There's enhancements to the 66, but again, not being a freight driver, I well, I seldom drive freight on train sim. I much prefer driving in passenger service. 
but yeah, so I, I wouldn't really be able to tell you what the enhancements were for that. But it's been enhanced, that's the main thing. We don't stop here, do we? We're flying through, that's what we like. Nice express service. So that'll be... Uh, hang on, that'll be Higham. If the next stop's Strood. Right, let's have a look. One and a half miles. So we need to start thinking, I mean, 1.3 miles, we're going down to 15 miles an hour anyway. So let's let's just pop it on the old minimum braking. I mean, I think we'll, we'll just start slowing down a little bit, and then we can always increase that as and when. I mean, we're not in a rush, are we? We seem to be running to time quite well. The AWS for our signal. Oh no, it's not. It's for the speed. Uh, the speed limit. Fifteen miles an hour. That's a bit nuts, isn't it? Right, we'll just ease off a little bit. And when I said we're not in a rush, we are. We're, we're late now. Yeah. I don't know what it is. For some reason, on the javelin, I just can't drive it round on these on these slow bits and run to time. I just don't seem to be able to. This is chronically slow. You slowed down too quick there. Oh, too early. You can't slow down any less quick, can you? Because it's, you know, you were using minimum braking, but you, yeah, you slowed down too early. Which, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to impact on performance, isn't it? I mean, 15 miles an hour, how ridiculous. It's like Lewis on the East Coast way, you know, the, the 10 mile an hour in and out of there. And it doesn't help, of course, because we're a double set, so we've got to wait for the back coach to get completely past when the, the speed increases. That also doesn't help the timing. I was just trying to change the view there to see if we could go outside. I'm really wanting to hear one of these station announcements. Uh, from the enhancement pack, but I know that obviously the station announcements beforehand were only kind of few and far between, so if they've just replaced it and not increased the, uh, you know, the frequency of it, then uh, then obviously we, we could be hard pushed. Are we going to accommodate a 12 car? Yes, we are, just about. See, this lies, this, uh, where are we? This, this screen says that we are on time. 
we are clearly not. That's, you know, 10.58 to Ramsgate. It's 10.50, it, it's 11 o'clock nearly, so this is two minutes late. Where's my expected? I will hope the patch hasn't broken that, because I really liked that kind of feature. Lift to platform one and zero. Lift to platform one and zero. Yee, that's, uh, that's not brilliant. They could have at least changed that. I mean, there are, this is platform one. Where, where's zero? There is no zero. There's just one, two, and three. Oh, come on. That's just a minor detail. That should be correct. Oh, damn it. There's some Metro papers over there. Well, we, we haven't got time, but we'll, we'll remember those for another day. Now we're, uh, we're turning left, you can see that, uh, but the line that comes from, where does it come from, Herne Hill, London, uh, London Victoria we join on now from the right, I mean it, it goes through other places on the way from Victoria like Swanley and Bromley South you know and then it, it gets here and uh, we're going round to, oh hang on we can keep speeding up a little bit more and it would basically going over this bridge and in less than a thousand yards we're stopping at Rochester mmm it's a nice bridge isn't it yeah I like this bridge See again, like I've said before, down there just needs more things in it. You know, it's just this barren land and, and down here as well. It just it just needs more life. Metro. Oh, that's quite far down, isn't it? I don't know if I'm going to be able to fill that up in time. That's like that's like my thing now, filling up the the metro. Ah, but what we can do is put a route map there. Because again, all the drivers just carry around rolled up route maps just in case they they find a poster without one on. Ah. How do we get out of the seat? Not C, that's uh, that's that's bus sim, isn't it? Ta da Oh isn't that nice? So we're we're here at, at Rochester. We're we're keeping going. Yeah right, jump back in, jump back in. We'll go this way round, just for a change. Throw him a curveball. Nope, where's the door? Oh it's there. Come on, in the seat. I don't know why the temperature's set to cool. That's better, isn't it? Get it nice and warm. Right, come on. Time to go. I don't know why the dwell time at stations is so much, you know, straight in and out. As soon as passengers have finished boarding, off we go.
So now again, we're, we're plodding around to Chatham now. And I can't remember, I think it's the old Chatham station, somebody did tell me. Uh, it's the old station, I don't the old Rochester station, the old Chatham station. Probably the old Rochester station with it being so close. That's that. It's nice, isn't it? Doesn't look as derelict as an old station should. I, I kind of hope that they'd have done a bit more with that to kind of make it look... I mean, that even looks better than an Ardwick station in Manchester. An Ardwick station is still a functioning station. And that looks cleaner and, and more kept up. You know, it should be vandalised, it should be that rubbish strewn all over it, weeds poking through the concrete where they've not kept on top of it anymore. I mean, that, that's what Ardwick Station looks like outside Manchester. And like I say, that's still available for passenger use. It's quite frightening, really. Coming into Chatham now. I don't reckon that's off the platform. I reckon the cab door is. There we go. That's a pretty good stop, isn't it? Perhaps a little bit past the stop board. Oh, we we can ring the sig. Can we ring the signaller? No, it says it says to click it to contact the signaller, but we can't like open. No, nope. can't open this panel, unfortunately. Never mind. Where's the stop board? Oh, it's about there. Nah, never mind. It's fine. It's fine. I'm liking how the, the interlock, it shows your cab doors open. That's a nice little feature. Now it's shut, look, it's gone blue. That's nice. I didn't expect that to work, to be honest with you. I'm quite pleasantly surprised. And a little green blob that shows where I am. You know, just in case I forget. Ooh, 375 going the other way. Hello. Driver, that looked tappy, didn't it? Where do we go next? Gillingham? God, it's an all stops job, isn't it? How far have we got? Just over a mile. Oh, well, we're not going to get to any sort of earth-shattering speeds in that time, are we? Oh, a nice little viaduct there. So you wouldn't notice that, would you, unless you were, you know... Because it's that overgrown. It's quite nice, you know, to, to stand down there and watch the trains go over. Albeit not very fast. Oh, we've got a yellow signal. Oh, double yellow. Well, I reckon a mile to Gillingham. I reckon the next signal will be before Gillingham. But there won't be a signal until after. If that makes sense. So I don't reckon we need to, like, slam on. Ah, you see, yeah, next signal, single yellow, is after Gillingham. So that's fine. We can carry on as we were. 
Can we get to 60, though? That's the age-old question. Come on, get to 60. Ah, so it's a red at Gillingham. Because this is obviously, uh, yeah. Fair dues. 500 yards. Come on, we can get to 60. Get to 60. Nope, I'm chickening out. You shouldn't know. This is, this is going to run very badly. Maximum braking, please. Oh, well, you've, you've messed that up, haven't you, you moron. Oh, you, you've completely cocked that up. Oh, for goodness sake. Do we have selective door opening? There we go. Right. Proceed to the signal. Well, yeah, you, you completely cocked that up, didn't you? Right. Now it's going to think that we haven't stopped. That's better. There, we're on the platform. Stop, and doors open. Nobody saw anything. Nobody at all saw anything there. No need to report anything that, that anyone saw. Nah. Have we got a, you know, so I, I feel less guilty for what's just happened. Have we? We've got like a paper stack to replace or a route map to. No. No, not at all. Oh, what's that? I feel like that's missing. Oh, it's one of the safety signs. Well, I'm sorry, but that's... Oh, and some papers as well. Oh, this is like a gold mine at this station. You watch that route map as well. For goodness sake, there's, there's absolutely loads to do. And another safety sign. It's too bad we're running late, isn't it? Because uh, otherwise I'd love to help. Right, let's get them doors shut. Where are we? We're in, we're in Gillingham, aren't we? It should be raining in the next stop. Yes. I imagine it's going to go Raynham, Sittingbourne, Faversham. I think we miss out to uh, Newington and Teenham. I believe so. I mean, for all we know, because this seems to be an all stops kind of affair. Gillingham level crossing, very nice. I feel like this is a depot on the right. Again, it'd be it'd be a little bit nicer if there was a bit more to see. I mean, it, ah, to be fair, there's a three seven five over there. I should really th stop and look before opening my mouth. But yeah, it'd be nice if I'm, I'm assuming that they're all out at work, aren't they? Ah, okay, I'll stop talking now. Way up to what's that, 80? I don't reckon we're going to get to 80. And you know what? I'm not going to try because uh, after last time, it didn't go so well, did it, at Gillingham? What's that? Oh, it's a yellow. Ooh, yellow signal.
Right, let's get a bit of braking on. I reckon notch five. Notch five will do. Maybe even less than that. We'll put it in minimum braking. See, again, I think I've been a little bit overcautious here. I don't know, actually, third seat. Yeah. Maybe it's after last time I'm just, I'm more cautious. I, I don't want to cock up again and go flying through. Oh, map. Map needs putting on. Safety sign. Oh well I might I might leg it and do that. It's quite a way down the platform though, isn't it? It'd be a risk. Are we on the platform? Yes, we're accommodated. Good, good, good. Right, go, go, go. Get out the chair quicker. Run! See, when it gets round to half the load, passengers, we're going to have to leg it back. Get out of my way, you moron. Metro, get it loaded. Way, there we go. Safety sign. Get it done. Done. Route map. Yes. We did all three. Right, leg it back now. Oh, we don't need to leg it back. We can be quite casual in our... I mean, I'm going to run back anyway. And it was showing on the screens there that we're running a bit late, so uh, must have been a temporary glitch. Let's uh, let's go back in and get a photo before uh, before it's time to dispatch. That's I reckon that's a good one, isn't it? Oh, and it's the train bow as well. I don't know about you, but I'm I'm not really a lover. I think it's uh, it's not so much about what it was originally about anymore, now it's all about... Oh, look, we've put a rainbow on our train, isn't that wonderful? Ugh. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, as a, as a game man myself, I, I don't feel that my life is enriched because they've put a rainbow on the side of a train, you know what I mean? I, I just think it's a bit gimmicky now. It was it was a bit nice when the first company did it. It was like, oh look, isn't that nice? But now it's just like, every year, there's, oh look, we've put another rainbow. Like, mm, yeah, a bit bored now of it, to be honest with you. And some of the liveries look, I mean, that that's not the worst, is it? It's quite subtle. But, uh some of them, oh, some of them are horrendous, aren't they? Really tacky. But there we go, that's just my own, uh, my own opinion. Yes, sitting bonds. We're not stopping at, uh, at that little station in between. Can't remember what it's called. I hope we're going to overtake something, but because we're a little bit late, maybe they've let it out in front. The, uh, the stopper. Maybe that was what we're following, why we've got red signals. Because we've gone to green now, haven't we? And that's yellow on the slow line. Ooh. Let's get a nice picture of it, it kind of leaning. There we go, that looks fast, doesn't it? Looks high speedy. Ooh, red signal. So I reckon that we're going to catch whatever it is.
oh, there's something on the other side, isn't there, in that station? Oh, we're not overtaking anything. That's a disappointment. Now we'll slow down for 70. There we go. See, you'd almost say I was a good driver. I mean, I'm, I'm really hoping... Oh. Couldn't really hear the horn for a second there. I'm hoping that, you know, if I ever do apply to be a train driver, uh, which one day maybe I will, uh, I hope that the interviewer hasn't seen me actually driving trains on Train Simulator, because they'll just throw my application in the bin, won't they? They'll be like, no, we've seen him before. We're, uh, yeah, we're definitely not hiring him. Actually, maybe, maybe it would be a good thing, because it is shown that I go above and beyond by replenishing metros and things, you know, so but it could work in my favour, it could work against me. One and a half miles to sit in bomb, we're gonna to have to think about slowing down soon. Right, let's, uh, I reckon that that should about be, that should be fine. You know, we're a mile away, about 50% braking. See, I find it a lot more difficult on Train Sim World 2 to kind of just gauge the braking. I mean, Train Sim 2021, you can, you can kind of use a similar approach with a lot of the trains and, you know, get a good result. Maybe this is more realistic, I don't know. Pop it on the minimum brake and we're coming at about 35. Crawling in, but at least it's a nice safe stop, isn't it? You know, at least we're not overshooting, there's no incidents, just a nice chilled out stop. Come on then, right door release. Yeah, I just, I kind of wish that the, oh, what, what's that, steward panel active. Oh, so, yeah. Because obviously these trains have like onboard staff, don't they? But they're not, they're not guards from, from my understanding. They're like train managers slash probably train stewards as you know as it says there so yeah it's the driver that controls the doors uh, which is why if you've not watched before the this signal buzzer you can click it and it, it will like give you give you a little whistle or a buzzer uh, and the reason for that is because apparently it's like that in real life uh, they're, they're not wired up they're not connected but the button's still there just in case it needs to be wired up Yeah, just, I do kind of wish in a way that I could tell you, you know, like quite some, some interesting factoids about this route. I mean, I've said it before, I, I love the route, but I just, I don't know it. I've never been on it. Ooh, green signal right away, seven miles through to Faversham, and we're supposedly going to get there in five minutes. I think that that is somewhat 
of a uh, an optimism. It would be quite nice if the line carried on, wouldn't it? I mean, you can always wish for more, but it would be really nice if the line carried on through to Ramsgate. I don't think we've actually seen uh, the that line on any train sim, have we? I mean, I know that there was, uh, for trains in 2021, there was obviously this line, and then there was the Chatham and Medway Valley, where you could drive from Victoria, so it was kind of that line that we joined at uh, Rochester. So, you know, that was nice. Um, but yeah, I don't think we've ever actually been able to drive around Kent. I could be wrong. I quite like them to do the uh, the Chatham and Medway Valley for this, to be honest with you, because it was a nice route. Plus, there's the the added fact that they're on about shoving the uh, the four six five on the, the that's in development for this route as well. I just I, I think it would be nice if you could drive it from Chatham all the way through to Victoria. You know, get a good long run on the uh, on the networker. It would be nice. I imagine that that's probably something they'll look at doing, to be honest with you. And it'd be nice if you could merge the two routes. Um, but they have said that due to, obviously, COVID-19, they're not able to get out and about and kind of research routes like they used to, which was why, you know, this route became a thing, because they had all the research done for the old game. Or words to that effect. So, yeah, I imagine that our next UK route is probably something we've seen before. I mean, they've, they've announced that the Rosa line... I mean, where's that? Is that in Switzerland? It's it's abroad. Yeah, it, it goes up a big hill. Slash mountain. Uh, but yeah, the Rosa line is, uh, is something that's coming. You know, we've seen that. So I imagine we're not going to get anything like earth-shatteringly new. Obviously, we're not stopping there. And I've just seen as we've gone flying through, there's a little metro stand unfulfilled. And I've just realised we could do with speeding up. I'm too busy looking at the sights. The sights. The, you know, the trees and the, the flatness and the old barn and warehouse. Come on, you can get to 90. Let's let's get to 90. Yeah, I'm definitely sure that this is slower. We didn't have this much problem, did we, on the uh, on the overheads? I mean, I know we're going up hills, so... The javelins don't seem to like hills, do they? D despite the fact that this was a custom-built... Oops. Despite the fact this is a custom-built train for this route, you'd imagine it would be kind of a bit better at hills. That might be the limitations of DC. We're not getting to 90, are we? Nah, we're going to have to slow down. Oh well. It was a good effort, wasn't it? I'm sure you'll agree. Much coast. Bit of coasting.
I'm assuming that's to tell us it's going down to 60 miles an hour shortly. Ah, so here we go, yellow signal. There we go, that that was just a bit of alright slowing down, that wasn't it, a bit of alright braking. Just got to 60, just before the speed. That's brilliant. A reminder as well, I mean we're, we're nearly at the end of the video, but if you are looking at Trains in World 2 and thinking, I'd quite like to, you know, have a go at that, and then you look on Steam and think, oh my lord, how much does it cost? Uh, you can actually check out in the description, I have a link to uh, CD Keys, it's an affiliate link, uh, so I'll get a commission if you buy anything off there while following my link. Uh, but yeah, check out CD Keys. They do sell genuine copies of games, but because of some witchcraft they manage to do, uh, they do get them a lot cheaper so they can pass on the savings to you. So uh, it is worth looking. Uh, I have put a link to that in the description. Sadly, they don't sell the DLC. So it says to, to stop there. Why am I not going to the end of the platform? What's happened there then? Why why are we emergency braking? I'm I'm not going past it. For goodness sake. Well what's happened there then? Well that's ridiculous. We are stopping at this station if it's the last thing I do. Oh, what on earth's happening? Come on, hold it in emergency and it seems to stop beeping. That's usually what... Is there, is there something I need to reset here? What What's on the, the TMS? No, nothing to press. Driver, yeah, we'll just click everywhere. Nothing. Aha! Right, get it in forward. We are stopping at this station. I, I don't care what. I don't know what happened there. Did I did I take it out of forward somehow? See, that shouldn't be allowed to happen. Yeah, no. Pan up, pan down again. Right, move. How ridiculous. You see, that shouldn't be allowed to happen. If you've got it in any kind of power, you shouldn't be able to turn the reverser at all. Um, so maybe I just lent on the wrong button. But yeah, as I was saying, CD keys, sadly they don't sell the DLC, but they can pass, you know, they can sell the base game to you. Link in the description there. Make sure you like the video if you like the video. I mean, it wasn't my most successful of drives, was it really? I mean, everything that could go wrong kind of did. Maybe that's because I wasn't paying attention. Who knows? Make sure you subscribe, of course, so that you don't miss out on any of your Trains in World 2 favourites. And, of course, I put a link in the description for that, uh, that this, this patch kind of a deal. It's not life-changing, but it is significantly, uh, you know, more improved. A bit more realistic. Anyway, like I say, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.